Greetings everyone, it is I, Varmalis the Malicious, returning to you with another epic video rant-a-thon. And tonight, I'm going to talk about something that has really been egging me on for these past couple of months. Now it's been a while since I've actually stepped in front of the camera and delivered a long-lasting, uh, ranting, epic monologue to you all. But... I've just been busy with some shit. As you can see, I got I got some blood on my face here. That was from a that was just for me going into a little hibernation, entering entering into a state of a of a just unconscious animalistic um, hunting, you could say. It's like ironically, like every Halloween, I have to go into like this state of like. To where I completely shut off my brain and I enter and m lower myself into like a, uh, a, a, a dumb, stupid, lunatic, uh, animalistic uh, state of mind. Where I just become a carnivorous, dumb, stupid predator that skulks around and preys and eats people. So, I've, I've, uh, I've, reco I've recovered from that, so no worries, but... Yeah, I'm digressing here. The main topic I want to talk about tonight is one that's really, really been pissing me off, pun intended, is I figured sooner or later I would have to dwell on the subject of public bathrooms. Alright, before I go any further, let me ask you all a question. What do you all usually do when you go use the restroom? Say if you have to piss or you have to shit, you know, you gotta, you gotta whip out the old fire hose and just drain the snake out into the toilet bowl. Or if you gotta take a dump real bad, you gotta sit on the toilet and push that monster out of your rectum. Listen to it hit the water and then just flush it. What do you do after that? Uh, you sort of wipe around the toilet, check to make sure everything's clean and shiny so the next person can use the toilet. Then you usually go and go to the sink and you wash your hands with soap, hopefully. Now let me ask you all this. Why has this simple little bitty harmless process been completely abandoned by every single person I meet in public. Sorry. Ah, oh, great, something fell down. But yeah, getting back to what I was saying, let me tell you something. The thing about humanity, in humanity's ever infinite quest to become civilized, to break off from the rest of the animal kingdom to become something truly greater than all of the other primitive organisms on this planet, we've developed facilities to, to where to serve one of our most basic needs, which is to excrete, which is to excrete bodily wastes. So every single liquid that we drink, every solid object that we consume, it goes through a large materializing process within our own bodies where our organs and our blood cells, they grab and process all the nutrients and vitamins from said liquids and, and objects and all the stuff that's left has to be disposed of, which is where our our penis or the uh, or the uh, the vagina for girls comes in. But that's also where you have the anus, the rectum, to get rid of solid objects. Now it may seem like I'm I'm sounding like a biology teacher here, but it seems like people are forgetting basic rules of courtesy in not only how to behave in a bathroom 
but to all the entrepreneurs out there who know how to run a bathroom. I don't know if this is just in America or if this is worldwide. And I don't know if it ha this happens in the women's bathroom or the men's bathroom, but you know what? I've been... I've seen some, some of the most disgusting, horrid, terrible bathrooms I've ever been in were all public bathrooms. Okay? I, 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 man, I can tell you some stories. I can tell you some stories of some absolutely nightmarishly disgusting bathrooms I've been in. I mean, I can tell you stories. I can't recall how many toilets I've seen where the toilet seat or the outer rim of the toilet bowl is just covered in water or yellow piss water or just how many times every time I walk into a stall that I have to stare at somebody's deuce because they forgot to flush the damn toilet ah I hate this shit Again, pun intended. Why would you not flush the goddamn toilet? Why? Do you really believe, after you drop a deuce, that somebody is going to walk in and they're going to want to look at your fucking turd? No, they're not. I mean, just think about it. How would you feel if you walked in and you saw somebody's gigantic, huge, elephant-sized piece of shit lying in the fucking toilet bowl, staring down at it. They'd be like, oh yeah, that's real fucking pleasant. I've been having a pretty bad day. This is just what I needed. To see somebody's turd laying in the toilet bowl staring up at me. That's a very big, that's a very big, that's a very big misstep in courtesy. When you take a dump you flush it! If you just leave that shit behind for somebody else to walk in and see, that's the equivalent of giving them the finger. It's just as impolite as any profanity you could yell, you could say to them. It's just as impolite as any threat, as any insult, as any racial slur, as anything like that. And if that, that's not bad enough, then, if, you know, if that's not bad enough, then it, it appears to me that once people are in a stall and they're taking a piss or something, if you're one of those people like me who you can't really use a urinal, that you don't really feel comfortable with just sticking your penis through, like, your, your pant zipper and you can't really aim it, then do everybody else a favor that, you know, if your dick spreads piss, if your dick just happens to spread piss like a garden hose gone wrong, like if you whip your dick out and then you start pissing, it's like, <laughs> it's going everywhere, it's going everywhere, it's going crazy. <laughs> if it's just going like that, then at least take, please take the time at least take the time to grab some toilet paper and wipe after yourself. It's just as bad as leaving a giant deuce for somebody to look at. Okay? And also, for men who use the urinal, I just want to ask, how hard is it for you, for all the big, confident, strong, manly men out there who believe they can do anything, who believe that who believe that they can be perfect womanizers, who believe that they fire all their guns and that they play football and then they lift weights and they drink energy drinks and all this other stupid redneck shit. I want to ask, if you can do all that, then why the fuck can't you aim your fucking penis into a urinal the right way when you piss? Okay? The only reason you would use a urinal to piss in, the only reason I would ever deduce is that you feel confident enough to actually piss in there. You feel confident enough to be out in the open 
where everybody can see you actually pissing. At least that's the way it looks to me. Yeah, the state of public bathrooms in this country is disgraceful. I mean, I, I recall one time, I recall one time where I walked into a bathroom and I just, I could just walk, I walked in on a, this stall and just, I walked in into this stall and there was this gigantic mound of like shit this huge mountain pile of diarrhea yeah it was diarrhea it was fucking diarrhea if I ever saw it just laying there it almost reached up to the very edges of the toilet seat it was so big it was gross dude and to make matters even worse I think it, it must have been in there for weeks because there were flies going around it. Yeah, there were flies going around it. There were little bitty... It must have been really hot too for some reason because I, I saw little smoke trails leaving off of it. it that, I'm not going to lie. That shit was so gross that I actually threw up. Oh my god. You know, this with the state of bathrooms nowadays, you might as well just go in, go out into the woods and just do your business there. The old-fashioned way, the way that cavemen used to do it. Because the way that human beings treat public bathrooms nowadays is absolutely disgraceful. It's it's so gross. I just can't begin to fathom. It's like these people lead dual identities or something that they claim to be really awe-inspiring. They claim to be great men, capable of anything, and yet their bathroom behavior is absolutely disgraceful and humiliating as all hell. Especially when they, when they bring their kids in there, okay? If you're a father and you bring your little bitty boy into a bathroom, you know, to look over him, that's okay, you know, that's fine. But, I mean, I've seen, I've seen men who wait for their kids to get through in the bathroom, and their kids do an okay job at pissing or shitting. But they themselves are the ones who, who appear as if they need fucking toilet training, okay? Unbelievable. Just, oh, absolutely unfucking believable And... As if, as if the way that people behaved in the bathrooms wasn't bad enough, I think some, the way that some of the bathrooms themselves, the way that some, the way that a lot of the gas stations and the, uh, and the supermarkets and the Walmarts, all the places I've been in, are some these are some of the most bare bones bathrooms I've ever been in. That, yeah, that's another thing about public bathrooms is that if they're not completely desecrated by people who who I don't know who are high on drugs or something or have absolutely no idea how to use a bathroom when they're not being that way then the managers in charge of those bathrooms forget to leave some of the most basic stuff like toilet paper or soap you know it's like what the fuck how am I supposed to clean up after myself if I don't have any toilet paper and how am I supposed to rid my hands of germs when there's no soap to wash them with and they're all like this it's like you know what I it's, you know what? We might as well just do away with public bathrooms. Because nobody gives a shit about them. Nobody shows any common courtesy towards each other when it comes to public bathrooms. At least what I've seen. Now, all of this experience I'm talking about comes purely from the men's bathrooms that I've been in. Okay? They come... I don't know, I don't know how it is about the women's bathrooms, 
for any of you women that watch my videos, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. But I tell you, I don't know, it may be just this whole generation of, you know, lazy, pretentious men who just don't give a shit, who just walk, here, who just walk around acting like they don't give a shit. They don't flush the toilet, they don't fucking clean up after themselves in the bathroom. They don't care. They don't care about anybody else but them fucking selves. And it's, and it's, it's gross. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting in the, in the uh, terms of both the bathroom and the people themselves who use the bathroom. I absolutely hate it. I hate public restrooms now, and even more so, I hate the people who go into them. Okay, well, I just need to get all of that off of my chest. This has been something that I've wanted to do a video about for a long time, so... Yeah, it's good to be back, everybody. Just so you all know, I'm still here. I'm still keeping it real. So, I hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. Uh, be sure to comment, you know, all that stuff. Any new subscribers out there? Any new viewers out there, be sure to subscribe to me, and uh, I'll see you later.